good morning sir can you just uh, tell us about uh, sri ramachandra college of uh, engineering and technology and uh, when was it uh, established good morning i think i should tell you a little bit about the university itself the university started in 1984 uh, it's uh, in the last 35 years has grown to be one of the best uh, medical universities in the country and uh, the engineering and technology programs started in 2019 we started with two programs so what is unique about the university sir the university is uh, ranked among the top universities in the country currently the university is ranked number 28 it's considered one of the best medical universities uh, where it comes somewhere in the top uh, 12 or so uh, in the areas from medicine dentistry pharmacy allied health and other areas Ramachandra is ranked very high and uh, it's a tier one university that it has earned its reputation through the grades it has received from NAC and other uh, regulatory bodies yes sir so can you just tell me what is experimental learning which is being followed in Shri Ramachandra College of Engineering and Technology? I think I should tell you uh, the unique aspects of Sri Ramachandra College of Engineering and Technology. First, uh, when we started, we wanted this to be different from other engineering institutions. So we focused on not only experiential learning, but the students should focus on emerging technologies, come out as graduates with the skills that they rec they can apply in industry. The experiential learning is uh, not only learning the concepts, but able to apply immediately, but also working with the industry, they have to go and spend about 15 months before the graduates working on projects every year for about three months and this is uh, this used to be common in a country like germany and there are some famous universities in the usa especially five universities in particular and they've been doing this for more than 100 years so we modeled after those experiential learning programs and established our college of engineering and technology under that mode Yes, sir. Sir, can you just tell me how does the internship programs work for the students who are studying in this college? The internship is a hallmark of the engineering and technology programs. We ask the students to work three months a year on an internship with industry. So we usually have a very small amount of holidays for them. In a year, they may get maximum of about 30 days or so. So we get some extra time. In addition to the class time that they have, that's about nine months, a uh, little less than nine months. And then for about three months, they work on this internship. It could be a project assigned by the industry and the project could be done at the industry location. It could also be done at a lab. It could be done at a university. So the internship essentially built uh, as a stage by stage. First year they are applied certain concepts. Second year they go on to higher level, third year even further. When they come to the fourth year, they're ready to go and take a full-time job in the industry. Yes, sir. So what is the international component that is present in Sri Ramachandra College of Engineering and Technology? Yes, when we developed the programs, we included the emerging technologies, the internship component, the industry and international component. The international component essentially prepares the students to go and spend probably six months on a research or a lab-oriented internship project before they graduate. However, it also allows them at the end of three and a half years to take a full-time master's degree program at a partner university overseas. It could be in the USA, Canada, UK, France, Germany, Australia, 
New Zealand and places like those. Although we do not have any limits, a student can go to Singapore or Malaysia or other countries like Korea and so on. But we facilitate those things so that the students who get before they graduate and exposure and the possibility of continuing their studies for a master's program. That's the international component. Yes, sir. Sir, what are the kind of facilities that are available for the students in studying in Sri Ramachandra College of Engineering and Technology? Yes, we have some of the best facilities for academic purposes. Our classrooms are integrated classroom and lab. It's a, an unusual arrangement where the students sit around a table, four of them to a table, and usually work on after about 30 minutes, every 30 minutes of instruction on uh, application aspects of it. It could be a hardware project, it could be a software project, it could be coding. So that's one part of it. Computers, internet, air-conditioned classrooms are the common aspects of it. However, outside the classroom, there are some of the best facilities that you would find anywhere in the country. If you are to step outside, there are excellent sports facilities from playgrounds to indoor games and other kinds of things. Very good hostel facilities and uh, the campus itself is a green campus. Some of the best uh, buildings and the kinds of environment that would be conducive to learning is part of the university. Yes, sir. That's very nice. Sir, can you tell me how about the placements and the industry partners or the recruiters coming to the college? Yes. So, uh, the university itself has been having uh, some 35 years of experience in placing medical, dental, pharmaceutical, allied health and other graduates. So, there is a very well established partnership with the industry and that partnership uh, in terms of placement has been excellent one. In bringing engineering programs, we have added to the internship component, just like the medical doctors would go through residency. We decided to add this component where the students could work with the industry. So the placement starts for the engineering students, not in the fourth year, but in the first year. Uh, after nine months of classes, they have to work with companies to find an internship project. There's a full-time placement coordinator whose job is to prepare the students to apply, interview, and get uh, projects. As I mentioned earlier, the projects could be done at the company location. It could be done at a specified location where the company and the university together decide. So this would continue every year for about three months until the uh, fourth year, when they finish half of the year, they would have finished all the course work, at which time they can take a full-time job in an industry or they could go to an international institution for continuation of their studies towards a master's degree. Yes. So, what is the future that has been for the Sri Ramachandra College of Engineering and Technology? and? What are the ideas that have been uh, planned? We think the emerging technologies, the technologies that are evolving are extremely important and those are the technologies that we have focused for our bachelor's degree programs. We offer BTEC, BSc, MSc and PhD programs. And they all relate to the emerging technologies that the industry is focusing on. So that'll be our focus. Second, we will have labs, uh, areas like maker space where students could innovate and work with companies to come up with ideas and products. We are also looking at the partnership arrangements with the industry and international institutions at a larger scale where the students would have not only the flexibility but the opportunities to go and prepare themselves for the kinds of competition they would find in the next four to ten years. Yes, sir. Sir, can you just tell me why the students should come to Sri Ramachandra College of Engineering and Technology? First, we offer some of the best programs. Second, we offer some of the best opportunities, such as 
the internship that I mentioned and the emerging technologies. For instance, most of the programs are computer science with artificial intelligence, cybersecurity, Internet of Things, data analytics, machine learning, robotics, and other areas. These are the emerging technologies that the companies are looking at. And we will continue to add those aspects of technology that are needed. Second, we would provide the students with enhanced opportunities for these internship, giving them the right type of experience before they graduate. Third, we think we will have a large number of industry and international companies that are going to be part of and giving the students with opportunities to do the internship. And looking further, we think uh, the opportunities for the students to do higher studies, masters, uh, PhD, and other kinds of things will prepare them not only for industry jobs, but for research and other opportunities. Yes, sir. That's th I think that is very different and the courses that are offered are very different from what other colleges are offering. And thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you for interview it. with uh, collegedunia.com. Yes. Uh, yeah, thank you very much for uh, sharing about our university and the Ramachandra College of Engineering and Technology. We we'll look forward to hearing from the students and parents and giving them more information on what we do here. Thank you very much.